I mean, I think that the skills that, that children will need in the 21st century in a lot of ways probably won't differ from the skills that they need at any point in our, in our history. Um, but there's, you know, there's a lot of other things around that are going to help them to, to cope with the new challenges that are, that are, are, are here. Um, and I think some of that they'll get from school, some of that they'll get from other places. But I think, you know, I think the, the key skills that will prepare children for life in the 21st century um, are, are going to be things like resilience, are going to be the idea of persistence, being able to keep trying when they're not sure what's going on. Um, I think a, a sense of inquiry and a sense of being kind of eager and enthusiastic to, to understand the world and to make sense of it. Um, and also I think, I think there's a sense that children will need to be uh, better kind of judges of what knowledge and what information they're presented with. I think in a world where uh, we're where children are flooded with information sources, where if they want to find the answer to a question, you know, it's in their pocket. Um, but that actually knowing whether the answer they get is the right answer or who's behind it or whether there's another answer which might also be possible. And so I think that all of that leads up to a sense that children need to be, be more creative. They need to be more inventive about the world and they need to understand that the world is, is to a large extent based on, on the myths that we make with one another, the things that we agree to believe in as a, as a community, as a society, as a world, and that they have a key role in both sustaining but also reinventing and repurposing those myths to make sure that they keep being valid for the world that we find ourselves in. Um, and for me, that's, that's the, key, the key thing.